Hi everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Spiel 2019. I've been joined by Alexander from Jolly Dutch, and you've brought with you Chartered of the Golden Age. That's right, that's right. It looks very, uh, very tough, but it isn't. Okay, well, and I see in front of us we've got all of these 3D pieces in board. I'm very excited to jump in. Tell me what we've got here. Basically, we're going to be um, merchants in Amsterdam, and the idea of the game is that you want to become the most wealthy guy there is. Okay. Um, we're going to be building warehouses, we're going to be creating enterprises, founding them, uh, building stocks, uh, building houses, getting stocks. Right. And then as we build more houses, uh, the enterprises will grow, will grow, will grow. And they'll give us precious money. And they'll yes. give you precious money, that's right, <laughs> right that's okay. right. So the... Um, well, how, what's what's, a, what's a round look like? I, I love these, uh, these pieces here. Yep. So how do I get them? I want them. We're quite, uh, quite proud of them, but this is basically how the game ends. As soon as all the houses are played, so okay. uh, there's six, uh, 96 in there. Yes. Uh, as soon as all of them are played, the game is done. But how does a round work? Sure. You just have two choices. Okay. Either you buy a new card, so this one's supposed to be closed. Okay, sure. <laughs> Either you buy a new card, or you play a card from your hand. Okay, seems straightforward. Straightforward enough, right? If you buy a new card, you just pay 50 guilders. We work with guilders. We're from the Netherlands. We'll start with a little pool of money. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, start, okay. Starting capital. Yeah. You also start with a starting hand. Okay. And um, in case you play a card, you just take the number. So let's say it's number seven. Right. Put it on this card pile, and then you get to take one of those nice little warehouses. Yes. Put it on the number. Seven. Okay. And then something happens. In this case, it's not connected to anything. Right. So you start a new enterprise. You get two free warehouses, because uh, we do like new startups. Right can place them in a certain way. Next to it, you take one of the headquarters, so let's say it's silver. Yes. It's the old Dutch word for silver. silver okay. Put it on top, and you just found it in the enterprise. Easy You're that. not the owner yet. Okay. We get one of those stock chips, yes. and that goes on to the stock market. It's worth okay. 30 guilders. This business is open now and business is open. Trade. You can okay. now start buying stock. So you get one as you're the founder. Okay. But there's nine of them. Right. So it might be that you started it but others will be able to buy it. Okay. And you might not be the owner of your own company. Right, they may have more of a controlling interest. Okay. That's right, that's right. All right. And as you um, expand the company, so let's say the next turn someone plays uh, number eight, eight okay. the uh, stock value goes up, just right. one, you receive 40 guilders. That's the way that you make money. So by playing the warehouses, now, you do get I more receive money. that or did The person that played the uh, card. Okay. Yep. And then that person gets to buy stocks up to two or sell stocks okay. up to two. Okay. Based and on the cost here? Yep, that's right. Okay. We've just made one of the um, uh, squares on the uh, on this market uh, red because that's the minimum price. I see. All right. So if you want to buy silver, you have to pay at least 50 guilders. Gotcha. All right. But if you're, for instance, selling the Amas diamonds, yes. you get 80 in return okay. per stock. So right. that's not too right. bad. Right. And uh, there's one more little trick that I want to show you, and that's the um, cards that will make you go up in the air. That's oh, the yes. uh, level cards. So you take one of your um, warehouses, yes, and you can place it wherever you like, as long as there's the previous level already. So a third level, you need a second level. I got so you. that's over right, here. Right. Place it on top, and whereas normally it goes up one, it's with the Yamas, it now goes up three as you are level three. At the height. One, two, okay. three, and you get 110 guilders. Fast way to gain a lot of money. And uh, again, you can buy a certain number of stock in this yep. case as well? Yeah. Whenever you've built a house, yes. you get to buy two stocks. Okay. Doesn't have to be of that specific country, uh, country, enterprise. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you just expanded the game. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Um, but it can be of anything that's available. Oh, really? So at the moment, okay. one of these three. But there's oh, only nine stocks per company. Right, right. And um, you can also buy a flag. Yeah, it's kind of curious. You have a, a series of these little flags here, yep. right? They are uh, the player color, so you get a little overview card. Yes. Because um, you will be building warehouses on the number, so you can't see anymore what you built where. Right. So you can look it up. Nice little map. Okay. That's right. And um, it shows you which uh, flags are yours. So in this case, I'm uh, red. Um, I built this one as a fixed cost, 200 guilders. So even though I'm fewn, yes. it's on 70 guilders, I only pay 50 per share because I put this one in. But there's only one person per company that gets to do that, and so only is, when you spend it. This is sort of a, a discount then on future stocks of this type? Potentially, but it's a gamble, because if you put it in too early, yes. other people know that you bought four stocks, right. and that's a lot, so they right. might not want to expand your company anymore. Gotcha. But if you're too late, someone else might do it before you, and uh, you won't be able to place it all together. So, um, 
you said the game ends as soon as this supply is done. So how long does the game typically take to play? Uh, depends on how quick the players play, of course. But sure. uh, we tend to say that for this side of the board, because this is a four to six player side, right. it's uh, about an hour to an hour and a half. And we do have another side, two to three players, and it's about 45 minutes to an hour. Excellent. Is this something that's available now for people to pick up? It is, it is. It's uh, available here at the booth yes. in Hall 4, 4D 108. Yes, if people who are not at the, at the Essen, where can they go? Uh, they can still buy it online, so we have our own Excellent. web shop. Uh, okay. And it's also available in certain shops, but we're still expanding. All right, well, thank <laughs> you so much for the overview of Chartered the Golden Age, and all of you, thanks for watching.